I walked a long distance here, so now I demand to be fed. <laughs> Uh, so we are going to have lunch um, at this place, at ca this cafe. It's a restaurant, by the way. It's called the Sanmat Cafe. Yeah, so guys, as you can see, our food is ready. The mukimo, uh, cabbage and some beef, you know. Like, it looks very, very delicious, man. You guys, you can see that. Huh? So that's the beef right there. That's the beef. And the green stuff. You see, that is not a avocado, that is mokimo. Yeah? That is mokimo, guys, and that's the cabbage right there, you know. Oh my gosh, my beef is here. Oh my gosh, it looks delicious. Ah, nice, nice. So here's my beef right here, you know, we got the beef. It looks very delicious, very fresh, you know. Also, like the mokimo right here, you know, this green stuff is called mokimo. Am I right? Yeah, it's called mokimo. It's, um potatoes mixed with the maize like the corn some people call it corn and like you kind of mash them together and you can put some greens so guys i know you when you boil them together and you kind of mash them so that's the result of that's the mokimo so if you mix the meat the beef and the mokimo you know let me let me try and see how it you know try and see how it tastes yeah. So this is it guys, like this, um, some beef, I mix with cabbage, so the cabbage is not um, like fully cooked, it's a steamed cabbage, just perfect, oh my gosh, Kenyans can cook, Kenyans can really cook, so this is, uh, then there's a uh, beef stew, so when you mix them together, tasty. And can you cook this kind of food in your, in your home? <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. I'll come one day and see. I think you're lying to us. <laughs> no, I can cook, guys, but um, I can cook mukimo. Perfect. Um, perfect mukimo, because it's my traditional food. So um, then beef stew, I can try almost like this, but uh, mm -hmm, I'm hoping I can do like exactly this. Um, and she's called Mama Africa, you know. So uh, she will just tell us more about her uh, nightlife street food in Westlands, Nairobi, you know, uh, and what she uses, you know, to prepare. Because I've seen she, ha she has so many, you know, ketchup, you know, so many ketchup there, you know, different, you know, different ketchup, you know, she's using to prepare her nightlife street food with, you know. Yeah, so can you please tell me more about your ketchup, you know? Yeah, okay. Me, I use peptan ketchup and American Garden mayonnaise. And also, I put a thousand Island and mustard. I cook burger, choma sausage, I make hot dogs, and samosa too. And sometimes when the job is there, when no coronavirus, I make mushikaki also. So if you have, you know, time, whether you're in Kenya or Nairobi or Westlands, you know, come and visit, you know. Come and buy some, you know, some nightlife street food here. You know, as you can see, like she's preparing, you know, the, the samosa. Like it's so, it looks so delicious, man. And she's adding the kachumbari right there. As you can see the kachumbari and the ketchup, you know, the, her secret recipe. You know, she's adding all her secret recipes so that it can make the samosa even more tastier. You know, even more, you know, it smells good, man. Like it smells so nice here. Yo, guys, as you can see, like my samosa is now ready, you know. Like she's put so many things inside, as you can see. Uh, we have the, you know, the, toma the tomato sauce. Yeah, the tomato sauce. Uh, the kitungus, the, I mean the onions, <laughs> yeah, I mean the onions. And the sausages from Thomas Choice. Yes, and the sausages, yeah, man, uh, yeah, she's saying that the sausage is from Farmer's Choice, you know. The yeah, now that's the, that's the badge right there, man. Yeah, so anytime you're in Westlands, you know, make sure you come to this place, you know, visit and buy the beautiful, you know, uh, the beautiful and you know like the food looks beautiful you know so anytime you're you are in Westlands make sure you come here and buy your nightlife uh, street food so I'll be taking uh, ugali ugali that is uh, 
the staple food here in Kenya, East Africa, and supports in Africa, you know. Uh, yeah, man. So, uh, as you can see, it's being prepared, the nyamachoma. The kachumbari there, and the ugali is also, also being prepared. So I hope you guys are gonna enjoy this video. And uh, yeah, if you want to join me in eating, you know, the ugali and the nyamachoma and the kachumbari, you know, support your brother only by subscribing and turning on uh, the notification bell. Yeah, man, also they have chapatis here, you know, people really love eating chapati, you know. So anytime you come here, make sure you order your chapati. Yeah, man, so guys, uh, my food is already here, as you can see, the ugali right here, you know, the ugali. Very delicious staple food in Africa, but mostly, uh, especially most of the time in, in East Africa. Also in South Africa, they eat ugali and they call it pap. Also in Zambia, they eat ugali, but they call it pap, you know. First of all, I'll take the ugali. And when you're eating the ugali, you know, make sure you... You press it, you know, press it so that you can get this round shape and then you press in the middle right here, you know. And then when you <laughs> and then when you press you know, when you press it, you know, you take your nyamachoma, you know. Take your nyamachoma like this. And then you test, you know. Mm. Man, this food is so delicious, man. Uh, and before I forget, let me test my skumawiki. You know, many people really love, love skumawiki because it's, it's healthy, you know. It's healthy for your health. Mm. Man, this is so delicious. Man. This is so, so, so delicious. You can literally feel the pepper. So this place is located across a Safaricom building, you know. Those are the two Safaricom buildings right there. And this is the press, press, this is the place right here. Hey, hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata. Ah, that's why my dog can just go through what I... Yo, what I went... I'm going to go to the next one. So that's why my dog can go to the next one. So that's why my dog can go to the next one. 真的好吃、啊，真的好吃，啊，我受不了了，我真的受不了了。如果呃你要我还来吃中国菜，你就告诉我，因为我觉得这个中这个中国菜很好吃，大家我真的受不了。你们都看看，汤太多了，啊，汤太多了。所以，如果你是中国人在肯尼亚，中国人住在非洲，请告诉我，你你你吃过肯尼亚菜吗？你吃过非洲菜吗？如果你你已经吃了，你告诉我，你觉得肯尼亚菜怎么样？非洲菜怎么样？嗯、所以大家，我要问那些中国人，你吃过肯尼亚菜吗？从你来肯尼亚，你吃过肯尼亚菜吗？啊，所以大家啊，在这里我看到两个朋友，中国朋友，但呃、啊，所以我要打扰他们一下，因为我我看看他们在吃他们的中饭，我觉得很好吃，所以我要，但是今天我要问他们啊，你老姐，从你来肯尼亚，你吃你吃过肯尼亚菜吗？吃过啊，吃过，你吃过吗？吃过，你吃过什么？加巴提。<笑>他吃过炒饭的，呀，啊，你觉得炒饭的好好好吃不吃？好吃，真的吗？真的。我可以问啊，你的女朋友吗？可以，可以，可以的。啊，美女，啊，你你的女朋友太真漂亮，你啊真漂亮，你你很幸运，老铁。哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈。OK， 好的好的，所以美女，我要问你个问题。从你来肯尼亚，你吃过肯尼亚菜吗？吃过呀、啊。真的吗？啊、嗯。你觉得肯尼亚菜怎么样？还好，中国菜更好吃。中国菜更好吃。请请再说一遍。<笑>中国菜更好吃。哦，真真的吗？真的。哦，我真的不太高兴，<笑>真的不太高兴。所以啊、呃，你吃过什么？羊毛虫吗？你说羊毛虫吗？不好吃吗？可以啊，可以啊。啊，可以的。在中国有羊毛虫吗？很多很多。很多，类似的，类似的
，类似的。朋友，我要问你一个问题：啊、uh, ，在 K 呃、uh, Kenya 中国的饭店，很多 Kenya 人来吃吗？没有，没有，为什为什么没有？因为这是中国人的地方。啊，呃，所以我你要说我是第一个的 Kenya 人吗？是。I walked a long distance here, so now I demand to be fed. <laughs> 